What is up you guys? I hope you all are having a great day. I know a lot of people that don't really care for leftover pizza, but I'll eat it any day of the week. It actually just got done raining. I thought it was gonna rain the whole rest of the day and I really wanted to film, but it looks like we're gonna have some nice weather. So to start things off, it's that time guys. I'm gonna go ahead and give you some shout outs. If you don't know, I do this every once in a while and I just like to reward the people that are leaving nice comments, liking my videos, sharing my stuff, and just all around supporting the channel. Oh yeah. All right, so first on the list, Eric Na. Eric N-A, Eric Na, whatever one. And thank you, man, for your comments. I appreciate it and I enjoy reading them. Definitely gonna make sure Alexis is comfortable and confident on the KLX 110 before we push her too far on the 100. Shout out to Chris R. I don't think I've seen your name before, but I saw you comment on one of my last videos and I appreciate it. Shout out to Arrow R. Mason Purdue, thank you for leaving all your comments. I appreciate it. Thanks for rocking with the channel. Special shout out to Brandon LP. He actually might have guessed the bike that I haven't shown you guys yet. So if you're curious about that, go ahead and check in one of my previous videos and try to look for his comment. Thank you Epox for your comment on my last video. I appreciate it and I enjoyed reading it. Shout out to Joseph KLR650. I've always wanted to ride one of those things by the way. And last but not least, shout out to Philip W and Winged Wolf Amp. I hope I didn't butcher that, but thank you all for supporting the channel. I appreciate every single comment that you leave, like, share. It all means the world to me. I'm doing this for you guys, and I can't wait to see what the future brings, and I want to bring you along with me. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this delicious pizza, and then we're going to go ahead and work on the Grom. All right, guys, so I got the Grom pulled out. As you know, I've been running the Man in the Box custom exhaust for about two or three months now, and overall, I'm really happy with it. It has a great sound. It turns heads, but it definitely comes with its downsides. I mean, this thing draws so much attention that it's not even funny. I have some video ideas planned and a new series I'm about to start in which I will need to put the stock exhaust back on just for the sake of stealthness. You guys will see plenty of it in the future. It's not goodbye forever, just for now. So with the ZNZ rear sets, I was told that you cannot run the stock exhaust. And I actually tried to install it with the stock exhaust at one point and it did not work out. But I'm thinking if I take this outer shield off that I'm actually gonna be able to make this work with the custom rear sets. See, the problem that you run into is the muffler doesn't clear down here, but I think if I take that shield off, it should give me the clearance that I need. I was hoping to ride tonight, but I don't know, guys. I only have like an hour until dark. Let's see what I can do. It depends on how fast I can get this thing put back on. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a time lapse and let's see what we can do. All right guys, so we've made some progress here. The problem that I'm having is this still hits the passenger peg, so it's not gonna work out fully. I'm gonna contact ZNZ Designs and see if I can get sent out a uh, single rear set that doesn't have the passenger pegs because I'm not using them as much as I thought I would. I mean, now that Alexis has her own bike, it's not really necessary to have, so I might just go ahead and get rid of the passenger setup and just run the single rear set. It'll probably save some weight anyway, so in hindsight, I probably should have done that, but we'll see what we can work out. As you can see there, the main exhaust mount does not match up on this side, so I'm only going to be running the other side bolted in, but it shouldn't be a big deal and it should hold for now. Well guys, I got it all put back together. That took me no time at all. I mean, literally less than 10 minutes, I have the stock exhaust back on here. I know it's ugly, but it's a small price to pay for being able to be stealth, sneak up on people, go to different spots, and not have to worry about getting kicked out at every single place you ride through. So the man on the box is gonna be on the shelf for a while, but not too long because I have some things planned that I'm gonna use this for. So don't worry about that. As you can see, it's hitting the muffler right here, so that is no bueno. I was only able to mount up the other side. So it, it's still pretty sturdy. I'm not worried about it. Definitely not going anywhere. Wow guys, I can actually hear for once. I think the computer's a little bit confused, so I'm gonna take it easy for the first, I don't know, 10 miles or so and see what it does. Almost forgot I was out of gas, guys. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, just making an absolute mess. Man, I was empty though. You like my gas can from the 1960s? All right, moving on. You guys didn't see that bike by the way. 
even though I'm sure like a hundred of you probably already noticed it, but hey, that's all right. You're early to the party. Oh man, let's just take a moment to enjoy the peace and quiet of the stock exhaust. It's nice actually being able to hear myself and uh, not have to wear earplugs. We probably have 45, 50 minutes of daylight left, so let's go see what we can get into. Hi. Hi. What's going on? I'm waiting on him. Oh, all right. See ya. <laughs> I snuck up on her. What do you guys think of the gloves? Rocking that Barney slash Big Bird color combination. I love you. You. Cut. Cut. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. And you know why I bought them? You guys know me. Go ahead and guess. Yes, I bought them because they were cheap. They're on the clearance rack because nobody wanted to rock these hideous things. But you know what? Perfect opportunity for me to swipe them up. I also wear a double XL, so the clearance rack is usually my best friend when it comes to gloves because nobody has orangutan fingers like me. Yo! How you doing, man? Yo! How you doing, man? Might have to blow up that porta potty later. I've had pizza for like four meals in a row now. I am making my way downtown to uh, hopefully find some people to ride with I don't know it's a nice night there might be some people out it is only a Tuesday night so for the average uh, working American they're probably home drinking a beer or complaining about their job I don't know I uh, think running that exhaust and hitting the rev limiter a couple times has knocked my valves out of adjustment so I'm definitely gonna have to address that here soon and um, while I'm addressing that I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take the long way around because I weigh like 300 pounds with this bike and I'm never gonna trigger the light so we're going to have to pull an illegal turn into the CVS, followed by an illegal wheelie. That felt good, not going to lie. So guys, I just want to kind of give you an update on the channel and what's going on soon because I have some exciting things planned. So I'm actually going to be turning my 2018 Honda Grom into a fully off-road capable machine. And uh, what that consists of is obviously I gotta get some knobby tires on here. Maybe some bark busters, suspension, skid plate, pretty much anything you guys come up with, I might try to do. I have a few companies that reached out to me and might wanna do something with me. So I think this is gonna be a really fun series. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe down below because I think this is gonna be a good thing for the channel. It's gonna be a lot of fun. As you guys know, I have plenty of pit bikes, mini bikes, but nothing other than this is street legal at the moment so i thought about turning one of my other like pit bikes into a street legal dual sport but at the same time i'm like i have a grom i mean i do so much off-roading on this thing anyways that why not just save the money and uh build this thing up because i know you guys want to see that and i want to see it too because i don't really have that much done to this bike and it's been a long time yo hey i think we have hit all of the longest lights possible Yo! What do we have here? Looks like the Empire State Building of my town. I definitely gotta say, I enjoy wheeling up hills. It's like walking the dog up here, man. Am I allowed to go in here? Huh. I've lived in this area my whole life and I have never came over this way. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be driving on this. Hi. Yo, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to be on here. I didn't think so, but I think we got lucky. Go ahead. How you doing? Good. Whoa, I think they just hit the pipe, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm not talking about exhaust pipes. Should I pull a wheelie? Nah, come on, of course. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. Trying to pull that hand off. I really haven't got a chance to use these rear sets to their abilities yet. I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful night, but I haven't seen any other bikes besides like one Harley. Oh, don't hit me with the soccer ball, boy. Yo! 
<laughs> Let's see if they want to see a wheelie. I think they do. They liked it. Except that was probably the worst wheelie that I've ever done in my entire life. But it was for the kids. Well, now that I have my stock exhaust on, I can actually go to a spot and stay there for more than five minutes. So I think we're going to hit up the old wheelie spot and get some practice in because I am really rusty. Everything looks so different now that it's summertime. Should we do it? Of course we should do it. I've always heard that disc brakes don't really work that well when they're wet, but no excuses. <laughs> All right, we'll take it for how rough and sketchy this bike path is. I think I'm gonna go back the other way because hopefully that train's about gone and I need to get to my spot over there before it gets dark. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. That's like one big negative of living in a small town is you cannot get away with as much stuff because you're really recognizable, especially a seven foot tall giant riding a kid's bike. Come on, Big Bertha. Oh, I see a motorcycle out there, but I also see a cop right here. I don't know what that's about, but I don't think we're going to stay at this spot when the cops are next door, so that plan is busted. I'm not having any luck tonight. Whoa! Was that a 60 year old mom driving a turbo Scion TC? That was different. Respect. Guys, when I get a supermoto, I'm just going to come flying here and just send that entire railroad track on the Grom. I'll probably bottom out my suspension, ruin my nuts. <laughs> and probably ruin my bike in the process. I've sent it off some pretty decent sized jumps though, but I've heard some horror stories about people's frame cracking, so we're not gonna get too crazy. For the off-road build, I'm hoping to get some better suspension under this thing, so we'll see if we can make that happen. And I've seen this person driving around all night. Hello, she's sketching me out. Is she undercover? And I exposed her. Hmm, I don't know what that place is, but it looks like it needs exploring. What do we have down the yellow brick road? Guys, I hope you can still see. I know the GoPro isn't the best in low light. But hey, I didn't see a no trespassing sign. So we're going to go ahead and investigate. This is definitely where the old whippersnappers come to hang out. Oh, guys, this is getting extremely sketchy. I'm like a level 10 sketch factor. I see a deer. I see mowed grass. Is this someone is on? That would be a deer in headlights. And there's more up in the trees too. How would this guy even get his mower back here? I don't see any way to get in. It's like mowed by ghosts. So I'm not gonna overstay my welcome. We explored. Ooh, there's a little creek through here. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty cool spot. Back in my high school days, I would definitely be found here. Oh. Nothing that way. Ooh, I thought I saw something. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, I hate that feeling. Uh-oh. We have some vapors. Hello there. How you doing? Good. What are you smoking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? A little bit. She had a camera. I don't know what kind of photography she would be doing right now with a kit lens. Noise is in, apparently. Oh, I guess this is a park back here. Man, I never even knew some of this stuff existed. That's what I love about motorcycles, guys. Just hopping on here with no destination. But maybe that was park property. I don't know. Ooh, I feel good about that one. Pulled that second gear too. I really need to ride this thing more guys. Honestly, all the videos that you see are the only time that I ride this bike. So that's kind of cool in a way. You guys don't miss out on anything as far as the Grom goes. <laughs> Hello there. I like your dog. Thanks. Hi bud. I think you like my Grom too. I like dogs like that. You can just tell they're happy and they want to come up to you and say something. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this ride with me. It was a pretty chill, relaxing night. 
not much action but hey i just wanted to go out talk to you guys film let you know what's going on so if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the upcoming series and uh, guys i'm opening a p.o box soon so i will definitely let you know the details of that as soon as i get it until the next one i'm out peace i like your trunk that could go two ways what kind of trunk are we talking about here one that carries cargo or one that carries well you get the point.